Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Fallout 4 running on Intel HD 520 graphics. This is actually on a Core i3-6100U, and we are running the game at 1366 by 768 and the low detail preset. And we're just playing through some of the early stages of the games, and we can see first of all with the recent updates and drivers from Intel and Bethesda, the game actually now works correctly without any tweaking on uh, Intel HD graphics. Um, I've tested this now on HD 520, HD 620 and Iris 540 all run the game absolutely fine now. Um, performance is okay, we're typically seeing around about 20 to sort of 35, 40 frames per second. Um, the low end of that isn't ideal, but once we're up over 30 frames per second it's not too bad. Uh, the VATS does help in sort of situations where the frame rates are a bit lower as well because we can use it just to take a bit more time and let the game do the aiming. Um, but overall, while it's not going to be a perfect experience for the game, if you have an HD 520 equipped Ultrabook or laptop and want to give Fallout 4 a go, you do at least know, know that with the latest drivers, latest patches, you are going to be able to play the game and it is going to be an acceptable experience, although obviously not as good as if you were playing it on a full-on discrete graphics card. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. God damn it. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.